Hey, Joe here. So this could be a really interesting video because um, as you can see, I'm, I'm doing this differently than I normally do. I am in motion. You are in motion. That was stupid. Anyway, uh, the reason why I'm recording it like this is because I want to show you the reverse angle of what I am looking at when I'm talking to you, which is this. This is my desk. So what's so special about that, you might say? Nothing. The point is, this is going to be an interesting video because this desk, as you can see, it is ghetto, just put together. This is a plastic, like this is something you would put stuff on at a garage sale. And this is what I've been working on for the last five years at least. So what's great about what's happening this weekend is that normally I shoot the videos and I edit them over the weekend and then upload them on Monday. But the problem is... Um, I'm not going to be able to do that this weekend, at least I don't think I will, because these two ugly ass desks are going away, thankfully. So is the ugly ass carpet with the ugly ass, oh, well that's the cute ass dog, but the where the cat loves to, you know, have a, a puke session every day. The carpet's going away. We're getting new carpet in the house, which is really cool. And, and because that's a good time to do it, we're getting rid of all this furniture. We got to take it out so that we can do the carpet. Um, I've got new desks coming and I'm really excited about the new desks. So what I think I'm going to try to do, and we'll see if they'll let me do it. I'm going to do a time lapse of this room before and after of the guys getting rid of the carpet and of me building and putting together desks. So I'm just going to share with you what I'm doing this weekend, which is kind of what I usually do, which is just share with you this process of getting my office up to snuff. I'm pretty excited about it, but we'll see how this turns out for a video. Hang tight. This is better. Now that I've got this new desk set up and everything, I, I really feel excited about the kind of cool and interesting stuff I'm going to be bringing to you for the next year. I really look forward to it and I'm really excited about diving in. But first, I was slumming it the other day and I drove through a McDonald's drive through I almost never go to McDonald's, but I was driving through and I saw that the McRib is back. And it's this big deal that the McRib is back. It's, you know, it's a big thing that they only bring back every once in a while. And I realized I've never eaten one of those before. I guess in YouTube parlance, this would be what they call an unwrapping. Grab that because it's loud. This smells very tangy. Tangy. I've already got sauce on me and I haven't even opened it yet. I'll bring this up so you can see it. See? Oh my, what? Look at, look at them, look at the mess. This is a mess. This is what you call a mess. I'm kind of nervous about this. This is really funny. I'm actually nervous about eating this meat though. It's just onions and pickles and sauce and uh, meat-like substance. And in true McDonald's fashion, they only got the sauce on like certain parts of the burger. And, and, and of course, the pickles are like sliding off the side. They're like barely even touching the burger. I'm either gonna love this or I'm gonna hate it. Either way, it's it's a loss because if I love it, I'm gonna hate myself. I can tell you that I'm not gonna like the onions on this already. I don't I don't care for onions. I feel like I'm eating spam. This is like a spam burger covered with. 
barbecue sauce. All right, here we go. I do not like the texture of that meat. I mean, it tastes good, it's a good taste. They've clearly put thousands of scientists at work to create a synthetic barbecue-like substance that is close to the original that you can't really take, tell the difference. The texture of this meat is horrendous. This is like, oh, this is scary. See, this is my problem with McDonald's. It doesn't taste bad. It actually tastes pretty good. But I know this isn't real food. This is not food. This is... I don't know what this is. They take something that's not food and they make it taste really good. It's like if somebody took toilet paper and made it like really tasty. So it tastes good. It's a good tasting food. It just, it's all this like compacted organic matter smushed together and then when you chew on it, it just kind of like falls apart into clumps of carbon-based stuff. Mm. Sorry McDonald's, that's a fail. So like I said before, this is an off week. This is kind of a weird video because I just kind of had to throw something together at the last minute because there's been so much going on this week. That possibly could be the case for the rest of the month. This is Christmas and I've got a lot of things to do, but I'm gonna keep doing these and bring them to you the best I can. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button. God will love you for it. Share this video amongst your friends if you want to pass along my hatred of the McRib, I guess. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Love you guys. I'll see you next week.